Okay guys, well, I can't believe I can make such a mess in such a short period of time. I've already done it. Made the mess. Uh, and what I wanted to do was uh, just build this little thing. Now, this is a sandwich a sandwich container. To knock them with the lids out of this. sealed for the sandwich container there we go and now it's my little uh, LM388 no 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 338 <laughs> I keep saying 388 I wonder why I had the uh, thing pointed then but look it's got a 10 pot turn uh, 10 turn pot <laughs> for the voltage a nice uh, 200 ohm uh, to adjust the current uh, pot there now the only thing I haven't done for it at the minute was I was going to give it like a power light but um, I'm going to make sure the camera is looking at what I'm looking at I was going to give it a power light there's a little hole just in there that, uh, a red, red LED or a green LED it fit quite nicely into a 3mm but then I thought, well, I could, but it's not really necessary because because I got this. But maybe I could put it there anyway and put it across the uh, the output. So then I know I've actually got output to there. And if that light doesn't come on, yeah, I'll do that. So give you a quick look at what I'm doing here. I'm going to tidy this table up in a moment. And then we'll look at this again with the tidy table. Now this is actually taken from uh, this squirrel here. And that I turned into oh I'm trying not to just rub all of this down here. That I turned into this. And I was so proud of myself when I made a video and shared it on YouTube. And then I thought, well, it's actually quite practical. You know, if I could build everything on my bench, I would build it. So bit by bit. But I thought it was quite practical. Now I don't expect to get heavy loads out of this. I don't want to do that. There's so many little circuits. I just need that little tiny bit. Um, but for me it's quite important to be able to have current control and it's quite important to um, be able to see that which is why I love that power supply so much because I can I can get that from that and that's great but as I've said before that, that that's 25 watts of power just to sit with the lights on you know just on standby 25 watts of power that's a lot of energy but this baby on the other hand this is a uh, you know this is basic and it's simple right yo quick going over here so anyway i say that's this and this is that and that that's this it is sort of what i did was i wanted it the other way around so oops I wanted it the other way around because of where I put the volume control that being the uh, voltage of course <laughs> and the current um, it was out of sync so basically um, yeah they're just the opposite way around so when you look at this this is here this is here yeah on here so that there that there boom 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 that was a bit of a bloody brain tease i'll tell you especially wiring up this blooming thing as well just a little bit of brain teaser because uh, that became useless to me because uh, i couldn't understand my own brain. um the, the the 220 ohm should be there really and this should be down here coming down to ground i don't know why i did that like that but it really messed me head up looking at it so i just resorted to this because i could see it a lot easier what i'd done um, and where what was? Well, through the front, 
you get to see the capacitor in there. You know, it's not really brilliant through the front. It's a bit of a mess, to be fair. That's where all the earths are joined together. And then there's a, a diode. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. Oh, I'll have to do modifications on this. And that's what I built it for to be able to do easy modifications. Have you seen here? Look, they're not even screwed in. This is that um, glob stuff that holds your capacitors in place. I just sat it like that, put them down. There's some thermal paste between the uh, isolation, uh, and I've checked it for isolation, of course. Um, it's isolated uh, between each other, but there's some thermal paste on the other side of the isolation on the heatsink, and then there's some thermal paste on this side of the isolation to the, uh, the back of the um, the back of the regulator there. Same as on there. But it does mean, you know, if they go, I don't have to try and get in here with a screwdriver, I can just like, cut this out. Take it off, put another blob on there, and we're good to go again. Not a problem. Input. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll slide that in a minute. Uh, we're going to a fuse. There's a 5 amp in there in a minute, I'm going to check that 2 amp in. I really don't want to be drawing any more than that through this, don't need it. It's going to be milliamps, it's going to be playing around with LEDs, it's going to be playing around with little circuits. It's going to be just um, just playing around with the little stuff. Uh, and I've got me a little LED ready there. And I'll just put a resistor on that and chuck that between the uh, output currents. I've just got to calculate the resistor a little bit, I think, because um, I might be able to go up to like 57 volts with this. Uh, not with those chips, but I've got some HV versions of the uh, 317, LM317. So I might be able to do it with that. Uh, right, so we've got the power coming in, of course. Uh, and then I did this little bank of 63 volt, uh, 120 nanofarad capacitors. It was the most appropriate ones I had, basically for voltage, because i got to be able to, I know I'm going to rerun that off my battery, but I'm going to be able to put a boost converter in line with it too, from my battery, to take it up. So I've got a bit of extra oomph here if I need it rather than just the, the eight and a half volts type thing that I'm going to get from using the battery because of course the regulators need a little bit of the old power here so and um, I'm still probably might have to do some work on the uh, the output capacitor because that's all there is for the output I've just uh, concentrated on the input there and I'm going to see what the uh, difference is on this now this I can take out easily it's blue tacked down or well, it's not blue tacked it's a different name different brand name but it's the same sort of thing Wacky tack or something, oh, I don't know what it's called. Um, but it means I can get at it and I can put output capacitors on here if I want to run output, or I can even put another board here. Output capacitors there, but we're going to see and just how this, see how this thing rolls. And um, I'm going to do some uh, some low test type thing and see what the noise is like and such with and without the boost converter. And maybe even with and without the capacitors. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's power it up. I'm going to use my trusty power supply over here so I can limit current and everything, of course. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I have, uh, I have powered it already. Um, I powered it and I found that I got this. Because what I did is I put my um, meter on here and I found that I got full variation of the 10k. And so I thought that's where it went. I had the. Can you see? Yeah. I had the, the, the black white here on this here. Uh, I thought it should be in the middle on the wiper. There. But for some reason it was coming out of the meter, so I did it there anyway. Uh, I powered it and I didn't have, um, I just had um, full output. Basically, cut a couple of few volts underneath uh, what the input was. So I changed that over, hoping, fingers crossed, it was going to be an easy fix. Put it across there, sweet as, and it, and it works well. So. Like I say, I'm not going to lie to you, I have powered it, I know it works. Uh, and I'm just going to set this down. I'll pop you in there for a second. Just have a look at the wires while I just connect up this power lead. Um, ah, come here. I might skip through this bit. Or I might not. Get in there. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. And the nice thing about it, of course, is it's, uh, it's got a bit of... No, no, no. It's got a, a nice bit of uh, heat sink on the back heat sinker and I'm going to put this 3 amp fuse in it 
Uh, I suppose I could do that now. Switch it on there. Oh, that's it. I lost it already. Lost it. That's a two amp actually, not three. I wanted some threes, but not two. That'll do. Because I don't intend on running any more than that. And really, if uh, it's just a little bit of extra, a little bit of protection. I haven't put a diode across the. Um, I need to look at that and. Uh, I don't want anything coming back through and doing anything dodgy, but I need to look at that study and just see if we're okay like that for the minute. But for the minute, it's going to be fine. So I'm just going to give it a little power up. Now I've got this thing over here set to uh, 20 volts. Um, and I'm literally just going to just power that on. So look out in front of that, as you can see. Oh, I'm not going to tell you what it says, you can see what it says. And that's the minimal voltage. Uh, and now, if I start turning that up, you can see we're going up. Uh, I haven't got any knobs for these. The one that came with this 10 part turn was hideous. And I, I, I can't, it just turns around anyway. I can't, I don't know what it is. These things haven't got any, uh, they're not like the normal potentiometers where you got the, you put a knob on there because it's got a spliny type thing. This haven't got that. I don't know how this works. But as you can see, I've got the, uh, the variable on there, which is all good. So what do I get? Just under 18 volts from a 20 volt output. Um, and according to my power supply, I'm drawing that amount, as you can see, to get that. Okay. So let's uh, just back this down a little bit. I've already, uh, when I just did that many ago, hopefully I didn't turn it. It's quite stiff this is to turn. Probably a good thing. Um, but um, I've got it set 10, 10 milliamp um, for the output. So let's uh, push that back. Put that down there. That's really strange the way that it looks. Let's just uh, pop that there and get some uh, some leads, and we can plug in. We can plug in a, a, a 10 watt. Anything. So of course these blades are going to work the same as um, oh, but that's direct output. I'm, now I'm, this is one of the things I really need to remember is that this thing is on. There's output there. I don't have like an output switch, which really I might just put myself on in because I don't need um, any real electronics for that. I can just have a switch, can I? Just have a toggle switch. I've got some big ass toggle switches. I thought they were a lot smaller, but they turn out to be really big, and I don't really want to use that. Uh, use those, so I'll just push some formers in. Uh, push that formula in there. Put the light there. I'm just going to pop this out of the way. Uh, and we'll start winding up the old power. I will have something to put over the front of that. As you can see, wind it up, wind it up, wind it up. And as soon as we get to uh, 10, 10 milliamp, I'm pretty, pretty sure we, uh, we shouldn't be able to go any higher. I think I might have just turned it slightly when I first put my hand in there. It felt, oh maybe I didn't. But that's it, that's, that's full. Uh, as you know, before we had like nearly 18 volts, and because I can turn that up, I just turned up the, the current. Allowance. That's that's full. So the way that's set, I'm drawing 58 milliamps over here. I'm currently limited anyway to 100 milliamps. I don't know if you can see the current limit uh, down the bottom there. I think I have to actually give this more light for you to, to see that. But it's currently limited to 100 milliamps. Um, yeah, I'm just doing you know sort of warmth tests around the place. Seems okay. And these are gonna be the simple little things I'm gonna be wanting to do with it. Just, just checking that's not actually getting warm or gonna do any sort of damage. Uh, turn it out a little bit. No, that just looks good. Sucky, it's not back on again. Of course, the nice thing about it is I've got a, I've got a lid. 
and the lid does still snap down in place, which is nice. It's like an, uh, I don't know, put some on top of it, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty chuffed. Got myself a nice, uh, nice little. Current controlled bench power supply. Just uh, you know, it's not going to be anything too brilliant or anything. But now, what I want to be able to do now is, of course, is uh, is stick the boost converter on it from the battery boost converter to this. So then I'm directly running from the battery. No more of uh, see that like that now. Just sat there doing nothing. 25 watts. 25 watts. If I put your watt meter, um, you know, plug it in, it's 25 watts, and I can see it by the watt meter that I've got um, on the other side of the room where the where the main bench power comes in, and I can see exactly what I'm drawing. So let's sew some watts, and I'm going to connect this up. So I'll be back in a, I don't know, a minute. More part two.